Ovechkin still doesn't have a contract. As I'm sure you're aware. Right. Where are we at on that? Yeah, I, I think we're, you know, uh, we're making progress. Our goal okay. is to uh, finish it up here by free agency. So, what's that? Uh, Wednesday? At Wednesday, at whenever that starts. Okay. Do you have any concern at all that it be signed before? No, I think both parties are, you know, are want the same goal, and I think we'll get it done by then. I anticipate us getting it done by then. So, is there a possibility that you're going to go over the cap as the CBA allows here for a little bit until you figure out how to manage things? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I mean, we have a couple of days left. we got free agency. You know, we'll see what happens in the trade market. Um, you know, we'll try and balance all those things out to get yeah. to the spot we need to be. Well, what's the trade market been like just in your conversation with other I mean, there's a lot going on, obviously, with with other teams and players being interchanged. Um, you know, I, I don't know that that's the game we're playing. We're playing a, kind of a different game there. So I think as we approach free agency, the what we're trying to accomplish uh, will come into play more than the bigger trades that are going on now. Where do you think clear some cap space, though? Yeah, I think so. I mean, well, you know, it's just a matter of how much we need to move out and we'll base our decisions based on that. I guess the expansion draft and how that went down with Vanacek, I guess what were your thoughts on that? Maybe you have Dylan and Schultz and some of those guys as well. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, I think that was a pattern throughout the league that, uh, you know, I think, you know, talking to Seattle beforehand, you got the indication that, you know, they were. Uh, probably a little resistance to taking on salaried players. Um, so we were, you know, we have a couple of good contracts that we like on players. So we thought we'd protect that and, and, you know, take our risk elsewhere. And, you know, they ended up, you can only protect one goalie. We got a good young goalie that's coming and, you know, they, they chose to take him over, you know, some pretty good players that I thought that we exposed to them. Uh, Sam Sonoff. RFA with Arbright's. Where do things stand with uh, with his negotiation? Yeah, I mean, we haven't, uh, you know, just initial conversations with his agent. Um, you know, we'll get a more, little more um, serious here as we go forward after free agency. With a, with a player like him who has something to prove but still is a value, a great value to you guys, is a bridge deal something that you, you'd prefer to, to do there? I, I'd say that's most likely. Um, you know, given the season he had last year, right. you know, a little inconsistency there. I think, you know, that probably works for both parties. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he recognizes or his representatives recognize that there's upside there. We recognize there's upside there. So that probably makes more sense for both parties. But with him, do you deal with Don or Craig? Uh, both. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're on the phone together <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yeah, got it. Um, your other UFAs, uh, uh, Chara, to me, where are things stand with um, You know, we've we've talked to his representative. Uh, I think you know we might check in here again. You know, when it opens up, to to see if he's serious about coming back or not coming back, and where the salary is going to end up, and if we have room to bet it based on our roster decisions. Michael Raffle. Uh, same thing. Yeah. Um, Henry Blunk was tweeted out the other day. He started to work out again. Is, is he? Is there any? Yeah, I think they're waiting to see if he's medically cleared yeah. uh, before he can approach it. I think he's the same attitude as last year that he'd like to play. And if uh, he gets clearance, I think mm -hmm. he's probably going to try and play. For you guys, you do you know the goalie, or do you feel like you have some? Have some uh, both. I think, you know, uh, we've had two guys that played really well in Hershey. You know that we might take a look at to start the year, or we might, depending on what happens in the free agency market and the cost of uh, veteran backup, we could explore that too. Is Craig Anderson? What is his future? I think he's done playing. Yeah. Yeah. Did you sell Well, I think he has to earn it too. Um, you know, I think that's up to him. He has the potential to be a number one, um, and I think he has to uh, show it. 
where do things stand with, with Evgeny? I mean, you know, there's all the rumors swirling it. Have you reached out to him as the team? Have you guys kind of had a little heart to heart with him and kind of see where things are? No, I mean, we've same discussions we've always had. I mean, he's a good player. We like the player. I've n I don't know. We've never said we're trading Kuznetsov. I, I said we're open to discussions on most of our players uh, for the trade market, you know, and if it comes up, it comes up, and if it doesn't make sense, same as always, it's never been, we're moving Kuznetsov, right. as it, you know, as it's been portrayed in a few places, but that's not exactly the case. Right. Um, where are the areas that where you feel like you need to do some nipping and talking and, and maybe make some improvements here by uh, going I mean, I like our forward group. Yeah. I think it's, uh, you know, our bottom six played really well last year. You yeah. know, I like the fourth line. Sherry played well. You know, Lars had some health issues, but, you know, uh, strong belief in Lars. Uh, right side looks good, you know. Wilson, Mantha, Boshi, Hathaway, it's good. You know, I just, you know, get our goaltending sor sorted out and get it stabilized, I think, is the key to how successful we'll be. How about the D? Yeah, I mean, we have, you know, I thought Dylan played well, Schultz played well, Carlson got hurt at the end, he had a good year. Um, a lot of guys back there. A lot of guys. Yeah, yeah I think we're going to have to, you know, yeah. make some decisions on our D. Yeah. I mean, we got good depth and guys that have played well, you yeah. know. Did, did anyone ever end up needing surgery or anything like that? Or was there, were you just yeah, uh, Carlson had a, a minor surgery. Um, yeah, he'll be ready for yeah, it's all good. That was in the knee that he hurt late yeah, in the season. Yeah. Um, Spencer Carberry. Was that did that catch you off guard? Was no, I mean we had a, a couple teams called to interview him. Yeah. Um, you know, we were kinda hoping we'd get him for another year. I mean he's at the stage in his career where NHL makes sense for him. Um, good coach, you know, very well respected uh, by the players and by the league. And so I, we knew opportunities were coming. Um, so he interviewed for a couple of jobs, and he ended up probably could have had a couple, and then took the Toronto one. Yeah. Was there any consideration of maybe trying to make things work here, where you could? Yeah, I mean, we we matched the offer that Toronto was given, and but you know we needed him to coach in the AHL one more year. Okay, I got so. It. So so you, you open that up to? Yeah, we're, we're interviewing candidates okay. right now. Yeah. Any internal, or is it uh, are you kind of looking outside? Both. Both. What's the status of Michael Kennedy? Will he be healthy? He's healthy, yes. Healthy yeah, now. he's cleared. He's ready to go. So you anticipate him uh, being in your defense next year? Or you have uh, he could be, okay. you know. I mean, we're making decisions, and most of it is salary cap decisions on the roster stuff of the D. Okay. 